1800s in Europe, population and food supply had finally stabilized. And because of the scientific revolution, so many Europeans were living longer because they knew more about diseases and health. People were no longer dying of the plague as often because they stopped, I don't know, tying chickens to their buboes. Quite importantly, Lady Mary Wortley Montague, seen here, brought inoculation back to Europe. Married to the guy who was the ambassador to the Ottoman Empire for a long time, and she learned so much while she was there, including inoculation. Hmm, take that, Edward Jenner. Kidding, Edward Jenner, you did great things. Thank you for that also. As people are living longer, what is there a new focus on? Kids. Child rearing. So is all about education, after all. I mean, only for men, but you get it. And by this point, the agricultural revolution was producing more food with fewer workers, so a lot of people started migrating to the cities. This urbanization was met with its own conflicts, as seen in this lovely picture, Gin Lane by William Hogarth. And this rampant urbanization starts to increase the social division between the wealthy and the poor. 